Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win, number 906. I am back in the great city of Covington, Louisiana, which is just north of New Orleans. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> challenge it was on man versus food at acme oyster house but tonight i am at pyre provisions i'm taking on pyre smokehouse pitmaster challenge now this all looks amazing i love barbecue i'm gonna get my fill tonight but they've got a pyre smokehouse on their menu which is two of their meats and then three of their sides this is three of their meats and then three of their sides for the meats i am very excited about all of these we've got one of the items they're most proud of is their Texas style smoked brisket. I've got about a pound and a half of that. Then we've got an entire smoked chicken. As you can see, we've got a whole chicken. <laughs> and then I'm excited about these ribs. We've got these Cantonese ribs, which have a pineapple barbecue sauce on top. And then for my three sides, I'm very excited. This is another one of their signature dishes, their cheesy grits. And then we've got some healthy vegetables with some not so healthy stuff on them. But we've got a whole order of their Brussels sprouts, which are their crispy Brussels sprouts. And then we've got a whole bunch of glazed carrots. So we've got one hour to finish everything here. If I fail, it's gonna be $48. But if I win, I'll get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet hat to add to my collection, and I'll be the first person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, let's have some barbecue. Big thanks to Jeff, Carrie, and their family all here at Pyre Provisions in Covington, Louisiana. I'm the first person to take on this challenge, so no record to beat. Along with all this, I've also got two things of their homemade cornbread, and then along the way, I'm gonna have some beers, thanks to Abita Brewery, which is local. We've got two of their beers. We've got the Abita Boot, and then we've got the Giacomo Juicy. So these are not part of the challenge. I'm gonna try to finish them. We'll see what happens. This food looks great. Let's shut up and eat. One, two, three, boom. All right, let's have some of these ribs. These Cantonese, very meaty ribs. These are pork, and that pineapple barbecue sauce is really good on here. I got some extra there if I need it. I was most excited for this chicken, but these ribs are freaking good. I walked back into the kitchen before I started all this to see what was going on, and I knew this was going to be a fun challenge. Let's have some of this chicken. I love dark meat, and this is awesome. Ooh, let's sample some of these Abita Brewery beers, but this is the Abita Boot. Oh yeah. I should be able to drink that along the way. That has got some good flavor to it. All right, now we're on the bricks. Done with one half of the chicken. So let's move Woo! on to some of this bread. This is of course meant to feed like a group or a family or one atlas. This brisket is amazing. Gonna get most of it down and then have some of these healthy vegetables. Last bite of the delicious brisket. Well, last beef. There's not too much left. I think we got three ribs left. Three Cantonese ribs left. Huh. 
had a big two hour bike ride today and I sweated all the time because it was hot today and I'm like thirsty, I'm drinking too many liquids, I need to back off on this. Ribs are gone, 16 minutes and 47 seconds. I'm gonna finish off the chicken before I go to the healthy vegetables. And I'm kidding when I say healthy vegetables. I'm aware that these are fried and these are glazed and those are loaded with cheese and they're not vegetables anyway. Some of you people think I actually think of it. That Abita boot is almost gone. It is good, it's going great with all this food. We got jambalaya next, or what's it called? Giacomo Juicy, yes, all right. Let's finish this chicken. That is a bougie beer, that is delicious. All right, this is a voluptuous breast. Let's get it down, we're 20 minutes in. And this is a lot of food. We're almost done with the meats though. Ah, the meats are gone. 23 minutes in. We usually do the bread last, but we're gonna do the cornbread next because it looks amazing and it smells good too. And then we'll be able to clear these trays out. And then we'll actually finally do the vegetables. That is good, yes. It doesn't even need butter or anything. This is awesome. I guess it's like southern cornbread. I am glad I had them add an extra one. This is so good. Brussels sprouts are the best thing on the menu. I guess I need to go with those. That comes from the owner's mouth. Let's get our vitamin A. That's got some great flavor. There's also some uh, slices of radish and jalapeno with all this too. But it's not spicy, so don't worry. Okay, scratch what I said about not being spicy. Oh, this is like between five and 15 pounds, and I am feeling it. I'm busting out the cheesy grit spoon for these uh, Brussels sprouts. Done with the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Holy hell, okay. These are fire too. There's like a sweet glaze on them. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, it's like dessert here. Almost like candy yams, but totally different. If that makes sense. Nine more challenges after this, and then I'm basically done for the year. Hey, you're my favorite. And this is gonna go better, this is gonna finish better than my last barbecue challenge in Greenville, South Carolina, where I had two seconds left. Let's get all this down. They had some delicious looking macaroni and cheese back there too, but I'm glad I didn't have to do that and the grits. This is gonna go down nice. Calcium filled cheese all throughout this. A little bit of a kick to these too, I like it. Three or four challenges have been on the easier side, so now my stomach's a little bit smaller, not ready for all this food, but we got plenty of time, thanks to the hour time limit, we're gonna get it. 42 minutes, 12 seconds in. challenge in 42 minutes and 30 seconds so I'm the first to win the Pyre Smokehouse Pitmaster Challenge. That is not it though, the challenge is over but I've had multiple people say this is the best bread pudding in all of Louisiana so we are going to try since I'm on a diet watching my figure a half portion with some vanilla ice cream but Jeff let's see it. <laughs> We've got that along with some vanilla ice cream. And what's on this, what's the glaze? Satsuma brown sugar glaze. Oh, that's We'll keep in his pronunciation of that. But it is a brown sugar glaze with an awesome word before it. It is awesome.
I didn't keep the time running because it's not really part of the challenge. I just wanted to enjoy it and show it off on the video. Alright, ice cream time. So good with the vanilla ice cream. Got the whole base challenge done. 42 minutes, 36 seconds. I've got to say, my favorite meats, I don't really have one. All three of those were equally awesome. Really enjoyed the pineapple barbecue sauce on those Cantonese ribs. Loved the smoked brisket, and then that chicken was juicy. Loved all of the sides too. I uh, would have enjoyed the grits more if I had started with them earlier. Uh, same with the others, but I should have ended with those carrots. Before I started them, I didn't really know they were sweet. But for winning, I'm going to get the $48 meal for free. I will get a sweet hat to add to my collection. This is a freaking nice hat too, so I'm pretty stoked about this. And I will have my name and photo up on the wall of fame. So big thanks to Jeff and his whole family, everybody here at Pyro Provisions. Thanks also to Abita Brewery for being involved with this. To celebrate that, I'm going to chug, now that I've got a second wind, their Giacomo Juicy. Giacomo Juicy in honor of that juicy barbecue, but it was overall win number 906. I've had multiple people say this is the breast shoot. Right? <laughs>